Hey. I'm BT. Some of my earliest influences are, um, well, I started with the Bs, so Beethoven, Brahms, Bach, um, still Bach, actually, is someone who I constantly am pulling up old workbooks of mine and studying counterpoint and phrase things from Bach. Um, but, you know, Chopin, Wagner, uh, Debussy in particular, um, Rachmaninoff, the, a lot of the romantic guys, then getting into stuff like uh, Penderecki and, and more aleatoric and 12-tone stuff. And then I fell in love with, uh, you know, English New Wave bands. So Depeche Mode, New Order, Cabaret Voltaire, The Human League, Vince Clark's work, Yaz, those sort of things. And um, really, I think that my, my, my music's really a symbiosis of those kind of two loves, or, you know, that of classical music and, and early English New Wave. My favorite place in my hometown. Um, oh, that's easy. My studio. It's my favorite place in my hometown. My second favorite place is a, a place called Great Falls, which is this beautiful place for hiking. Does silence count? Okay, good. Then yes, yeah, silence. Honestly, and I don't know. I'm not saying that to be silly or something, but I think that the space between sounds, the kind of the negative space, you know, thinking in a sort of art metaphor that defines sounds is as if not more important than the sounds themselves. The weirdest sound. Uh, anytime I've walked into Richard Devine's basement unannounced, that's the weirdest sound. <laughs> Oh, Richard, are you down here? Are you being eaten by aliens? What's happening? Um, <laughs> yeah, that's definitely one of the the weirdest sounds. Um, I, I, some of the, the most interesting sounds that I've found are things that are not observable through air. So I heard Richard before talking about um, hydrophones. Something I love doing so much is going out and recording things with contact mics. So. Um, so uh, like our neighbors have an electric fence and I've gone over there with contact microphones and put them about 40 feet apart and that pinging on the electric fence and you can't hear it in the air, but those contact microphones pick it up louder than, you know, if somebody was going like that. Uh, and man, some of the sounds that we're not hearing, but that are happening all around us all the time, I think are some of the coolest and most inspiring sounds there are. <laughs> Uh, well, that would have to be, I don't know, some bread boxed uh, distortion pedals that, you know, I've got laying around. The funniest sound, um, are probably our cat Biscuit, when he does this thing we call Buddhaing, where he like, he like crouches in this very funny position and he invariably will fall asleep uh, with his mouth open like an old man and snore and it's a hysterical both sight and sound. So, um, and he's a Scottish folds, he's got his little ears. It's like a jarring thing when you walk into a room and this is happening, but that's probably one of the funniest sounds I've ever heard. I'd say probably Facebook or Instagram are the two things that we use the most to kind of disseminate the current goings on. So yeah, those are the best. Check all that stuff out on my Facebook and post all my gigs and stuff like that. <laughs>